Kids, welcome to the Walk-In Art Center. Today, we're going to learn all about this place's history. But to do this, we're going to have to take a trip back through time. So, I need you guys to put your time helmets on, okay? Are they on? All right. Prepare for time warp in three, two, one. Here we go. Whoa, we made it. Welcome to Schuylkill Haven in the year 1887, the birth year of the walk-in shoe factor. But before it was known as walk-in shoe, do you know what it was called before? Berger Brown and Company. But in 1900, a man named George W. Gerber bought the Berger Brown and Company and renamed it. Can you guess? Yeah, that's right. Walk-in shoe factory. All right, you're about to find out something amazing about the walk-in shoe factory, but you can't tell anyone about this. Do you promise to keep it a secret? Okay, they used to make shoes here. I mean a lot of shoes, ladies shoes, gentlemen shoes, sandals, boots, but their specialty were children's shoes. Yeah, kids just like you. The style of shoes that they made a lot of were orthopedic shoes. Say it with me. Orthopedic. Awesome. Orthopedic shoes are medical shoes for kids who have problems with their feet, hip, or knees. Now, their shoes were so fantastic that the president told his friend, the king of Saudi Arabia, about them and the king told his son the prince about them and soon they flew all the way to Skuko Haven to buy them yup Skuko Haven was home to royalty all right it's time for us to go inside the factory now we're going to explore and learn all about the hard work that goes into making shoes walk-in had over 200 people working for them and was shipping out thousands of shoes every day. When the factory was still open, there wasn't a day they didn't ship out shoes. And that's because there weren't any days off then. Yup, no Christmas vacation, no Thanksgiving break. Instead, everyone would get half days off. Making shoes was very hard work. This was a job in which the employees were always working. But you know what? Working a lot didn't matter to the employees because it made them feel a part of something. The walk-in shoe factory began to feel like a second home to them. Roaming through the halls was just like walking to the bathroom back at the house. Most of the people that worked there stayed for 20 plus years and they got promoted and began to make the big money then. That's why hard work is always important, kids. Whoa! Seems we're running out of power in our time helmets. So let's finish our story. As time went on, the shoe industry began to change. And walk-in, they couldn't keep up. People didn't want the style of shoes they were making anymore. They wanted sneakers. The shoe factory tried to save money by doing something called offshoring. Do you know what that is? That's when a company moves a business process from one country to another. So, they had another country make their shoes while they sold their shoes. All right, guys, time's up. Let's head back to the present. Okay, guys, we made it safe and sound. So, the walk-in meant a lot to a lot of people because it allowed them to make Skuko Haven to a place it is now, a place where they can say that they love their children, a place where you guys can live and be happy. Okay, thanks for hanging out with us today. I hope to see you in the past, present, and future. Later! Later!